Hey guys, so um, this Christmas holidays we've been uh, trapped by the weather, pretty much couldn't get away at all. Um, we do have something here that we can show you, so I thought it might be a good idea to show you um, how to use the throw screen properly. I've got my son here helping me. Um, little bag of wash that we brought back from the gym fields as well. So um, yeah, we'll do that and show you how to process the wash with the throw screen. Um, or we've got a little shaker stand there as well. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so this bag of wash we brought when we were at uh, staying in Ruby Vale last time. Um, so there's definitely sapphires in there. I think it's only like $25 a bag. First thing, we're going to put some in the bucket. So this is what the wash looks like. Yeah, so we'll throw that through the, the screen and show you how to do it. Okay, so as you can see down there, um, there's a lot of stuff that's fallen through the screen. Everything else is coming to the bucket. It's going to need a fair bit of um, washing, but you know that's just that's just the way of uh, using it. Um, I don't know uh, if you guys saw that, but the way I was doing it was putting the bucket on and twisting it, and just letting it all rotate through. That way, there's nothing bouncing off. You're not losing anything. Um, the way I was first using it was throwing it at the screen. <laughs> don't do that put it in the bucket hold the bucket up against your screen and just twist it so as you can see Klein is picking the bucket up so he spilled a little bit but that's all right so to um, counter that spillage um, I actually need to put something across the front here uh, that'll catch like all the stuff that falls out um, as well as any bigger rocks as well so you can look through and make sure you don't miss anything so um, we'll start giving that a sieve show you guys how to sieve it as well and flip it and see what we find um, we'll just quickly show you how to use the shaker stand as well um, so clarny has got the last little bit there you want to pour some in the, uh, the sieves mate Okay, so this stand is basically just um, a bit of flat bar that's been bent, welded onto uh, a rod here with a little stand. Um, if you are making one, try and make your stand a bit wider to make it a bit more stable. So now what Kalani's going to do is just start shaking it side to side. A bit harder. You can see all the dust falling out. There it goes. Yeah, keep shaking until there's no more dust. And that just helps to get rid of all that stuff. It's exactly the same as a screen, but obviously on a smaller scale. So as you can see this stuff's um, 
it's pretty clay. Yeah, it still needs a fair bit of um, fair bit of sieving. Um, might have to speed it up. All I'm trying to do is basically uh, break the clay up. There could be stuff hiding in these little bits of clay. It does take a bit of work, but we'll get there. Um, when I'm running my hand around the sieve like that, I'm actually pushing it through using the sieve as a kind of grater to um, just break up the clay a bit more. So when I am ready to uh, flip the, or when I've cleaned enough of the, the material in the sieve, what I want to try and do is centre all of the sapphires right in the middle. So they're already at the bottom, I need to bring them to the centre. And the way I do that is I shake it from side to side to create a sort of line. And then I bounce it out. And then I turn it. Again, create the line and just bounce it flat. Same again. Now, sapphires being heavier, um, when you center everything, obviously they're going to come to the center. They'll be the last thing to move once everything bounces out. So now if I flip this, uh, any sapphire should be obviously on the bottom and right in the center. All right, so we didn't have a lot, um, a lot of material in that sieve and this is what we're left with uh, after we've washed it. But as you can see, um, right in the middle there, is pretty much all the sapphires. So first I like to start off with that uh, steering wheel motion just to really I guess let things settle a bit. I mean this, this stuff's quite big. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do with this one. But just keep at it. Work it down as much as you can. Um, a lot of people might throw this clay stuff, but there could easily be sapphires hiding in that. So if you are doing this at home, uh, do it into a bucket um, and just let it soak. So like you know, run your first sieves and whatever's left just let it soak for a couple of days and then come back and re -sieve it and um, you might find that after this clay is all uh, soaked and broken up there might be some little treasures hiding inside them.
So after sieving, I like to just let the water drain. Um, you can see some big bits, uh, larger pieces of like quartz and stuff. If you want to throw those out, you can. So what I've got here is just a little um, table I knocked up just for the kids to be able to use to go through sapphires. So I'll flip the wash on here and it's got a couple of lights. Can you flip those lights on there? Just a couple of lights that they can use to um, check the sapphires as they're going through them. Um, so again, we've just flipped that, um, that next sieve and it's probably a bit hard to see, we don't have all the sun, but all the dark stuff right there in that one spot. Um, and that's from the way that I was sieving it. So there are other ways to sieve. You know, just because I've done that now doesn't mean it's the only way. Um, this way works best for me, I've found, and uh, it's pretty easy with everyone I've taught as well. So um, give this a go if, you, if you're struggling with it, the way that I'm doing it, and um, let's see what we found in this sieve. So I'll just show you this wash before I even um, wet it. And I, so that you can already see, here's a little dog's tooth. Um, you can already see the sapphires and stuff sitting on top. That's what they'll look like um, when you find them out digging as well. Alright, so they, they're all through this stuff. These bags of wash are um, so good for beginners. If you're new up to the gem fields or anywhere with sapphires that offers bags of wash, definitely get some. Just done another um, sieve. You see he's got a bunch of sapphires over there. That little uh, container there has got heaps in there too. And um, right in the center of this one as well. There is a heap more. So those $25 bags are pretty good. Um, you know, keep the kids busy for a while. Um, we did end up chucking a heap of stuff that was already washed back into the bucket and I'll just let that soak um, probably go through that again tomorrow you getting some? yeah so yeah that was pretty much how the throw screen works um, one thing I didn't change about it was the legs um, I actually left them left them loose so I didn't put a bracket on the back of them And that was basically so, um, it was a bit easier to level the screen when I'm out in um, uneven surfaces. Um, Kalani's just putting the last bit through. There's only a tiny bit left. So something like that, he won't even need to flick it, he's just washing the dust off. That should be enough mate. Give a look and see if we've got any sapphires in there. Yeah, there's a couple, eh? Yeah. You want to pull those out and um, we'll show them what we got, eh? So yeah, just a, a quick video on um, processing with the throw screen. Uh, the shaker stand as well. I'll just give you a quick look at the shaker stand. So literally all it is, is just flat bar that's been bent up, a couple of welds on there, um, welded onto some round bar and down to a couple of cross legs. And I mean you saw before you just put it on and basically just give it a shake all the dust falls out so that's what I was using before I had a throw screen um, or a trommel it was super easy to make super cheap as long as you've got access to a welder you don't have to be a good welder it's nothing structural um, and I mean you're going to be using it out in the bush and out in the creek so it's going to get banged around a bit so I wouldn't worry the only thing I would change um, is making it able to take it apart and so I can make it a bit smaller um, just to make it more mobile easier to put in the car but apart from that like it works fine doesn't have to be flash doesn't have to be nice and tidy the throw screen so um, 
it is a bit long and what I've actually done to make this more mobile uh, I don't know if you can see it just above here I've actually drawn a line so um, I unscrew all of those screws and this leg comes off I only bring the screws out just enough that they're not sitting into this bit of wood and then I re-screw the wood up higher so um, the whole thing is just makes it a bit shorter fits in the car and a lot nicer um, no bits sticking out that are going to poke you or anything like that but yeah I, th I think that's showing everything um, we'll show you guys what we found we'll clean it up a little bit and um, yeah good luck if you guys get out there see you next time <laughs>